Hi there, this is Yehuna Todd, and we're going to create a music piece here. So you'll notice when hearing my music has a very organic, uh, at the moment sound. It's not super refined, like you'll hear other music, because most of us are used to listening to robotic, type programming type music and really miss the time period especially the early electronic artists who played more organically at the moment and it was much more it had much more of a human touch so you'll notice uh, in my music it has a message to it there's a spiritual approach to it have also learned from those electronic artists like Vangelis, who played very direct uh, at the moment type style. Then you have someone like Jean-Michel Jarre, who's very spontaneous and bold with his musical approach. Then you have someone, let's say, like a group like Kraftwerk, which is, uh, because, is a commentary of what's happening today. And it's interesting, it's almost ironic that they have a robotic type message to theirs, but that's really a commentary, a social commentary of how the people are very much like robots today and, and their technology, and that's what those projects were about. Some people don't get that, uh, about the, the music there. And then you have some groups like a good group, Tangerine Dream, which teaches longevity, right? They just keep going and going. Uh, the one thing to note is you also need to, as you play music, need to understand what music is. We forget that because we hear a song, it's so, it's so, it's, there's so much work involved into these this music piece and and, and uh, manipulated so much that it uses so many electronic tools it loses the human message of it and you don't want to lose that message music is to muse okay that's where it comes from muse means to think really think what we're hearing today is amusement or music amuse like amused as in not thinking we just want to relax but music's more than just for relaxation okay it's to think it's to ponder and what you'll notice with Yehunaton here is the music is very spiritual it has a voice and there's techniques being used in the music that will really capture that lesson, that experience, um, that experience that's going to go the long ro road, uh, not necessarily catering to the masses of today or the people that may like to listen to it because things change, right? So how do you get the music to really hold? It has to be substantial. All right, and, and hold the test of time. There has to be a message there that's sustainable, right? And each of these artists, uh, the they've such as uh, Kentaro or uh, Duvall or let's say even Patrick O'Hearn has really showed me ways to think about music that it doesn't always have to be in this dimension that we've created. Okay, so it doesn't always have to sound refined because today's music is way too refined. And you lose that human element, that progression of the music being created and having additional music cues. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get to a software here, use FL Studio for the last 10 years yet had a previous 10 years of using a keyboard it was a Yamaha keyboard DGX 500 which was played for 10 years before then 
and taught me discipline because you can't just stop and record a little bit and record again. You had one go at it and it had to sound the way it sounded and it was like, is this good enough? Eventually was able to come back and fix some of the little errors that happened, um, but it gave discipline because in today's music you have too many options and sometimes those options stop you from being creative right and you when creating music you want to be true to what you're doing and it has to have something substantial so for example when doing the 2020 project um, that was a very difficult time for many people and was very anxious and so that music has that quality it doesn't always have to feel good or sound relaxing sometimes it can be irritating purposely make music that is meant to sound irritating no that sounds crazy but there's a something to learn with it um, sometimes you play music you don't even want to hear so for for some projects like 144,000 project it was music this person didn't necessarily wanted to play but knew for years in preparing myself this project and knew eventually it had to reach a maturity to play that right so there's going to be music that comes to you it's how you harness it not to the point you jeopardize it right but making sure that it's being played and it's captured in the way it's meant to be captured. Music comes all the time. You remember hearing Van Gallis and it's like you just capture it in the wind and it's always coming and it's you just happen to sit one day and actually record something. So we're going to play something that's not even planned. It may not come out correctly but we're going to show uh, what could happen and going to go ahead and uh, pull uh, the software here there we go and have uh, FL studio up and have some instruments and again don't make this a huge deal one thing that this person has that you may want to consider and it doesn't don't think technical here there's plenty of people think technical and geek all about it just just again focus on practicality um, have a 88 key hammer action controller okay an uh, AK AI professional MPK just found one that was a little slightly damaged has a feel of a real piano that's essential in getting that hammer action down it it you want the reality of it okay and then i have an assistant mpk 25 which really hasn't been used that much but also just a, a pad and some knobs a mpd 26 okay from akai professional so bought those but again just find something that's practical to you and it's not all pre-programmed here, right? You're the human element. You're there to take that that energy and harness it, all right? Kind of see a music piece as, uh, it's almost like a horse in which, or, or like a shoe that you're breaking down, okay? So that it will fit within the human element, all right? So, just opened a plain one and I'm just going to show you some of the things that we've put Artura Omosphere has been good to me Philharmonic we have here we have some Korg type of uh, items here don't just again these are nice to have but you could see that when you hear my music even on the Yamaha DGX it still sounds the same okay very similar again 
one thing you need to note is don't worry about how don't try to impress people okay with your musical style and keyboard action okay there's some people that get into all these combinations of notes unless it has a point to it you can use it but again play something that is going to be true to what needs to happen now the point of this recording is to show you what we can play okay also don't worry too much about having something extremely unique all right people have done the work for you don't waste their time all right so that's a wonderful sound right there and what I'm going to do is, instead of worrying about how my hands are going to be exactly on this t keyboard here, I can, it's very simple. You can use transpose. Not a big deal. So I have it minus four. Not a big deal. So I'm holding down on the A key. Right, but that's showing on the F there because I went down four and then I love using chords and hand movements now I'm not going to go ahead and record this but this is something that is learned and this is the important tool is your good hand the hand that you write with or use primarily train that hand to express what is going on in your mind so for example my right hand has been trained to listen okay to what the brain is telling it right and then the left hand will follow the right hand for in the in this person's case so for example has a nice uh, sustain there have a pedal love sustain sometimes reverb is good but again what is the message here so sense a cry Now, did that take a lot of focus? No. But did you sense the reality of that sound? You could feel it, right? And that's what Vangelis was attempting to explain to us. He had the Jupiter. There's some songs that he, you know, pieces he created with this. And he was able to use, for example, like the CS80, to really study it and to express that emotion. He would study his instruments. And don't be afraid to take your time. People are too quick when they play music because they're like, it has to be this segment, this has to be... Forget that. Just re let the energy flow property, properly. The more you... Yes, you could put reins on it, but within reason. Okay. So let's go ahead and just turn this down a tad. And sometimes I'll just leave this up here. I, I, after you create, you know, hundreds and hundreds of pieces, 
you don't have time to think about how exactly this is going to be programmed and all that. that. Now, that's wonderful. Some people will have 20, 30 tracks that they're playing these elaborate songs and so forth. Can you do that a thousand times over? Okay. What you're doing is you're focusing so much on a track that you're losing other messages that could be coming. So you want to record it as soon as possible. Now the thing is, sometimes once in a, a blue moon will record a part and then record another part and layer it. Um, honestly, don't really prefer that. That's the, love playing everything at the moment. Now you're sometimes hearing these musical pieces and you're like, there's so many instruments going on. How can this be played? You can play it with sound bars going up you know volume going up also heavy weights simple it acts like a finger it doesn't ha it's not expensive just get a weight put it on the keyboard and you can manipulate it okay you want to take the you want to bring the technical aspects to the most simplest level the key word is simplify Right? When you're in math, you want to simplify an answer. Sometimes we get too worked up into the problem. We're not finding the solution. All right, so let's go ahead and add, let's say, a piano here. Sometimes it's like, there's so many choices, don't worry, just choose something. And I don't, sometimes I don't even think about what I'm doing. Now you can learn the tool, but you want to get to the point it's beyond just thinking exactly what you want. It's just letting it happen, right? Where it becomes natural. You've heard those cues in, in the music before. has to be real. People respect real feeling music. You have no one you need to prove anything to. If you're trying to play to impress, you're not playing music. You're playing refreshments. You're not getting real meat. Yeah, you could be making money, but money fades. No one lives forever. All right, let's see here. I'm a definitely a string person because I'm uh, as a, in the scriptures they love, use harps and strings so you can do it in a digital platform let's see if it comes up might get a little busy here and sometimes, you know, issues will happen, and if it happens, no big deal.
just open it again the thing is we take things way too seriously and all I see that as a hint to do something different and we'll save all kinds of tracks here let's go ahead and add that piano again really was sensing that piano See, no big deal. And yeah, I'm, I'm really good at saving and just save, save, save. But things happen, right? The thing is, the instrument within you remains. What I do is I just play everything through one keyboard. Let's do a version four here. People have already given you the tools. Use them. Sometimes you have to tweak, manipulate, or create your own sounds. That's understandable. could just watch here the simple the better you want to enjoy the experience where it's not like a big chore that's nice See, it's going four different ranges of chord. Really want a lower range, is so powerful if you use it properly. and take your time think about it then also positioning. I'm going to put in this part. This is where I long 
88 keyboard key of keys is going to give you much more wider palette. So, sound is so powerful. You can you have the same instrument and have so many different expressions. Express, express. Nothing wrong with that. Don't worry about, you know, people say it has to be this, this, this. Music, again, it's music theory. It's all theory. All right? Play what's real. All right. And the convenience of having these instruments fantastic. of see there's four different areas you can put your music in a piece you have more of the bass sound you have a low sound you have that where your key sounds go and then you have high sounds that more like are sound effects there we go let me open this Someone wants out. There you go. All right. Try to think about it too much. Let's see if we can get there.
See? That wasn't that hard. This is where it's going to get fun. I've got to share too many secrets here, but things you can do. Save this as. Uh, I'm not going to use a folder here. Sounding interesting there. We'll just call it free flow. If you see this uh, music piece, you'll know where it came from and how it was played. I might. I love, I love manipulating D's and A's because each note has a particular frequency and expression and it does give, it does provide different thoughts, okay, to people. It's just, it is true. Everything has, it has a flow to it. Let's start programming some of this. See why those instruments have been used for many years. Use the fool. The, the key combination that you learn in, in basic music theory with chords. And again, Theory is one thing, but when you're playing it, what do you what are you attempting to express? Let's see here. Just take a moment. This 
is one of those tools in FL Studio. It may have some older sounds. Who cares? Let's see. And I've never used any of these. This is just coming up. Let's see. again to worry about the crazy stuff save this as draft one. It's going to be some drafts. None of this has been pre-planned before this recording. limited with some computer issues there, but we'll figure it out. Might be the extra delays. got plenty going on here then. Might have to change it. Let's see here. We'll worry about that later. Let's see, we saved our work right. Yeah. Yeah, there's something going on. It is what it is. All right, let's see. Yeah. 
Yeah, that might be a problem. Ah, uh, that's too bad. something else. like we're going old school here. Let's try the other one. Could be the recording. Well, that's no worries. We can still create a music piece, even while that's recording. That's probably what's limiting the computer processing, the RAM and so forth. But this can be a simple piece. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah, I think it's because it's recording, no big deal. Let's see what comes up. <laughs> Am I feeling organ here or what? Let's see. Isn't music powerful when used? Might have to. Man, I kind of missed that Sakura sound to it. All right, let's see. Yeah, it is what it is. All right. I have to make this limited. It's okay. Let me see which one. And then we can, uh, even if it sounds like that, we can still play with that sound in it if we absolutely had to.
that. Might have to stop the video, but you know, let's just go ahead and play something. Let's see. Pardon the crackling. Might have to get rid of some stuff. Sorry about that. Tempo is also powerful. Yeah, that's just not working. All right, Juno. I have to take some stuff out.
this again. Okay. I think we got plenty of instruments here for now. Okay, I put it on the wrong one. A lot of it's trial and error. Nice. in. Oh, it's in between C and B, okay. I don't have to stop this uh, but we'll go ahead and 
Let's see. Let's just record this. I think we got enough. Let's just do off the cuff here. Let's see what is not programmed. Well, we'll figure it out once we record. I'm going to record on the beat here. I'm just going to use just one pattern. I'm not going to worry about this, the song track. Just record one thing. Let's see what happens. Let's see. I got save. And there's going to be some static, but we'll export and we'll see how it sounds after that. We'll just put recording one. Then I put it on the cadence. I thought that was the cadence product project, but we'll we'll move it. All right, let's see. Let's just do something here. Don't get nervous. Let's see. Let's do it where it starts with the key. A little bit of sound effect there, echo. I have to leave this up. All right, let's see. much for it. Yeah, we'll stop it. That's okay. What I might have to do is just uh, pause this and uh, play it and uh, let's and have you listen to it. Not a huge deal. All right, let's see what we can do here. I'll go ahead and I don't think it will allow us to pause. I'll go ahead and just uh, stop the recording and we'll go ahead and just play it when we're done. All right, one moment. All right, so we went ahead and created the piece here. Sorry to have to do that, but you know, I'm, computer can have some issues sometimes, especially when it's doing multiple things, no biggie main thing is it can record and uh, save the file so gonna go ahead and uh, play it it took about a want to say six half dozen ten times to just figure out the intro part just playing it and eventually uh, once it came it the rest flowed easy so um, in this there could be a few issues uh, when hearing it. I'm going to go ahead and play it um, and uh, make some comments uh, while playing. Um, the intro is always trying to figure out the flow of where it's going to go. So let's go ahead and get this up here. I'll go ahead and play the track. Turned out to be about nine minutes long. We'll go ahead and play here another software. 
turn the volume up a little bit. And you can hear that Mellotron organ starting out. I thought that was the best way to handle it. Got some pulsing going on there. Looks like we have a key, little key issue there, no biggie. Nice to be able to clean stuff up. Wonder what happened there. be just some uh, leftovers. When pressing the key it might have got caught between something. Modulators and this one sounds pretty tangerine dreamish, but still has still has my sound there. of volume and I didn't really get the opportunity to use um, just different uh, didn't have the opportunity to use some knobs on different parts of the instrument Yeah, it 
looks like some of it got kind of spacey yeah once the flowing goes it, it becomes much more natural it's always hard to, to start Just a little bit of cleanup here. Anyways, we'll go ahead and release that. Uh, and uh, there you go. That is the track. So it just would have been nice to record a little bit more of it actually being played. But, you know, we got a little bit here. It was nice to share this with everyone. You know, some notes to think about, you know, it's really important for us to especially look at music in much more of a thoughtful approach and really determine what angle, well, not just the angle, what what spirit you're under when you harness that energy to expound on it and what are you, what statement is being made in the music. So that you if you play that piece, you know, again and so forth, you know, I think you're gonna see there's even though there wasn't too many technical aspects that was brought into the music, it still sounded profound given just the flow of it and the discipline of the hands and how it was played. You know, and that's the stuff you more, the more you train yourself into the art of it, the better off you'll be. Yes, the technology side is wonderful. It's good to have all these 
gimmicks of, of and tools and technological advancements, but they they're only going to take you so far. They're meant to assist you. Okay, they're meant to assist you, not take over your music. Could you still play on another instrument and still have your sound? Okay, if you didn't have these tools, you should be able to. Okay, and if you keep that with you, no matter what happens to the technology, you're going to be fine.
Anyways, we'll go ahead and close it there. Hopefully you learned and enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll talk to you later. You take care. Okay, bye-bye.